taking your family-friendly wheels to the next level. I'm Steph. <laughs> I'm Jay. And this is Modern Motoring. I think I'll just do all the driving today. You can do all the talking, I'll do all yeah, the driving. Right. Okay, the reason for that is that we're driving a 2022 BMW X3 M competition. Now. Now. We drove an X3 earlier this year. The M40i. Yes, and that was part of this same model year, which has a refresh involved in it. So if you're interested in the superficial aspects of that refresh, like the um, exterior changes, the in interior changes, go check out that video. So I'm gonna just turn a little corner here and then we're gonna be getting onto the highway. Do you wanna talk a little bit about what we've got under the hood here? Yeah, so it's the same engine as the M3 and M4, which is a three liter twin turbo in line six. So for this year, it's still the same 503 horsepower, but the torque has come up to 479 <laughs> pound feet, still the same uh, eight speed automatic transmission and it's all wheel drive. But if you configure yourself just right, you can get all the power to the rear wheels. I often say that there's really no need for this much power in, in anything, yeah. but it does it so well that it it so I'm, well. I'm okay to look the other way uh, for this one. All right. Well, you kind of just spoiled what I was going to say in my ending. But anyway, here we go. Well, it, it's one over eight in this case, right? <laughs> so getting on the highway here, I'm going to hit my little M paddles here, which I've got set up. Um, M1 is all sport. M2 is all sport plus. Um, that's just how we've done it. It's so customizable. Mm -hmm. Hit it here. Oh. oh, it's so good. So smooth, so grippy, all the things. It's pretty loud too. It is, it's ridiculous. And we don't so, even have the, uh, oh, the exhaust, the exhaust did come so, in with the Sport Plus. So <laughs> the, the person that had it before us set it up so that the, uh, the amplified exhaust came on when you started the car. And I'm like, Which well, is not I'm, very nice to the neighbors. Well, whatever, I'm like, I'm not gonna change it, it's fine. When I went out late at night this week, I put it off mm -hmm. um, because I don't want to be that jerk in the neighborhood. Um, but if it's it's daylight hours, you know, whatever, it's okay. It's uh, it's exactly what it's there for. Mm -hmm. So you want to drop it down to M1 and see if you can... Uh... I want to listen to M2 a little bit first. All now right. the Sport Plus everything. It's All right. nice. Did you see a little puff of exhaust? Uh, it, was, <laughs> it doesn't do much. Oh, there's a little bit of burbling. Yeah, oh, yeah, a yeah. little bit. Okay. And, uh, I feel the, the cold starts will really be the loudest option for yeah, you. Yeah, that's true. But even still, right. you know... Putting it down to M1 now. So there's a noticeable yeah. reduction in sound, but you still have some. The dashboard changes in addition to uh, the actual exhaust sounds and the, the way the car handles and performs. And yeah, there's uh, I'm not sure if I like the display okay. as much for the M modes mm. as much as the regular standard stuff, but I don't know, I think that's uh, it's kind of funny a very how nitpicky thing for me. Right? Yeah, I, yeah, it's kind of funny how they've got the tack on both sides like that. I guess too many people complaining that it's uh, They need to stop that garbage. <laughs> it's not backwards, guys, just stop. Uh, so as we uh, look for our next offer, I'm just some familiar things here. Uh, so it is an M vehicle, a true M vehicle, so it does have the red start stop button. Um, the M buttons at the top, at the middle of the steering wheel are red as well. Mm. Everything else is, is pretty standard fare. You have the little X3M competition logo um, just in front of your wireless charging pad. Bigger screen this year, mm -hmm. slightly for the center console. Um, I wouldn't notice a difference at all. Like to begin with, I like the X Drive system the most out of all modern vehicles. You know, even if they dropped it by like three or four inches, it wouldn't make a mm. difference for me. I just like the way it's it's set up in its entirety. I've only got a couple of nitpicks with this car's mm. interior. Um, I don't love the M shifter. I don't find it very intuitive at all. But like it's got I that nice to... etched in M. Or it's, M boss it's, sorry. It looks in. great. I just, mm. I, the action on it, like I find, I put it into drive and then I'm not sure if it's gone into drive and then mm. I hit it again and then it's not in automatic, it's in manual, manual mode, mode and then I right. set off and I don't realize I don't have to look and yeah, I wish it was a little bit clearer. There was another mm. like, 
notch or something for, okay. for the manual mode as tested here. We're, we're six. There you go. At that price, I don't think I should be adjusting the steering wheel by myself. Fair. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's I'll got memory seats and power everything and mm -hmm. except for the steering wheel. So it all sets up and then I have to hunger down. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's a bit Fair. silly to me. I think that's, I think, come on guys. All right. Throw me one more motor. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I do like the interior, the black and beige. Yeah. Um, I I would get this as is on the, I'm, on the I'm interior. I'm shocked to Why? hear you say that. Oh, you mean in the interior? Okay. Yeah, the, the, oh, the exterior color. Oh, no, I don't love this exterior. Lot. Wonderful. No, I, I so don't So it's 3900 bucks. Are you kidding? And they want 49 for a matte color. And I would not get that that anything. That's ridiculous. I, I like this. It's not yeah. army green. It's not ugly green. Mm. Um, I don't know. I like it. It's... It's something just different enough. Okay, I'm glad we're not shopping for this car together. I'd get, to, I'd go in a completely different direction. But anyway, what would you get? I don't know. Well, you sorry. know what I'm like. Orange is my accent color. Uh, Probably something like that. But anyway, <laughs> a little obnoxious orange, like bright orange with sparkles, yeah. or just oh. Okay, so green it is. Mm. Um, now there are a couple of packages tacked on here. So in addition to the Urban Green for 3,900, you have the Advanced Driver Assist for a couple of grand. And that gets you things including your traffic jam uh, assist, your lane keep assist, uh, lane centering assist, adaptive cruise control. Then you also have your premium package and that gets you your heads up display, your park assist, 360 cam, your cooled front seats, as well as your heated rear seats, drive camera, and your side sun shades. But I know if I'm buying this, again, for the price point, for what it is, I'm gonna spend the extra 300 or 400 bucks mm -hmm. and get it properly attended. So are we calling it done this argument that SUVs can't be performance vehicles then? I'm I'm ready to call it. Like I Oh, for sure. Yeah, for I sure. don't see a lot of people tracking this, but they could. I think they should. Yeah. Um, now, the one thing that came to mind for me as soon as I realized it has the same engine as the M3 and M4, mm -hmm. the whole power to weight thing. Yes, yeah, so it is heavier It for is sure. heavier, so it's going to be I I don't think slower is the appropriate word. Right. Now, the zero to 100 time is 3.8 seconds. Mm -hmm. So 100 kilometers an hour, not 100 miles. That's just a little nuts. Yeah. Um, so, again, back to what I had said in the beginning of the video, is there really a need for this much? It's not just BMW of the thing. So there's right. the Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio. Yeah. Alfa Romeo, no, I'm, I'm missing a word. Alfa Romeo. The Stelvio, Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Quadrifoglio. Yeah, that's what you're looking um, for, yeah. The Evoque, same size, but doesn't come anywhere near it. Uh, Benz has something. Oh my gosh, and then you're looking at like the Aston Martin DBX and the 707. That's like, there's, there's so much. And then there's the Macan. Yeah. Um, you, but you, I think you've got to go up to the, what's on the higher end of the Porsche scale? That's the GTS. So there's absolutely room for performance SUVs. The, yeah, the point being, it's not the, the sacrifice that it once was. No, it it's rides a little rough. But it would be in a sedan too, right? No, you're mm. making that sacrifice, of whichever body style you choose. And I think when you choose this, and I'm never gonna say don't buy a sedan, right? The, the, right. the slow demise of sedans is extremely sad, but- Because there's first, no back wiper. That's, why, <laughs> that's the thing for me. Anyways. When, when you on. can get something like this, that can function very well as an, ex an easy to get into and out of, carrying a lot of cargo. Yeah, quick touch you know. on cargo, it's uh, 800 and a bit liters seats up and yeah. doubles to over 1600 seats down. So the functionality is mm -hmm. absolutely there. Day to day, you've got a family vehicle that does all yeah. the family vehicle things. And then on the weekends, when you want to go for a fun little windy drive, you it's, can. yeah, you can even go autocross or track this thing if you really want to, and it will keep up. You yeah. can't see it, but there's something just over my shoulder that has... This little glow, glowy thing? Yeah, yeah. and it, uh, when you open the doors, it uh, shows up, but they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's got a manual fly extender, which I'm fine with, mm. and the stitching and the bolstering, and you can see the... Or, not orange. Beige? Insert. <laughs> I was thinking of the orange <laughs> nonsense you were talking about. <laughs> nonsense? Okay, so, so here's the ultimate question, mm. right? We can get an X3 M40i for mid 60s. mid 60s now base but you're comparing mid 60s mm -hmm. to mid 90s so yeah so put yourself in the mentality of somebody who's considering this car is it worth it to go that much further if you're an enthusiast absolutely mm -hmm. because you have an authentic m vehicle i think this will be one of the last full powerful m's now this is a mid cycle refresh for 2022 mm -hmm. so maybe three years left but that takes us to 2026 and i I know, I think there's one more 
generation? You think so? Mm-hmm. Like a short generation? Yeah, maybe. Because I, I, I can't see BMW running this for 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I can't see a nine-year mm. half generation. It'll be interesting. Yeah, but... So, but, I, but I you would, haven't answered the question. Would, are you going 60 and change for the M40i, or are you going all the way to this if you got the money? For me, I'm going with this. Yeah, same. And nobody needs this much power. We're not saying anybody does, but... If it's available to you and it's packaged so well so. and the handling is, is great. Now, yeah. the MX... No, wait. <laughs> the X... 3M40i uh, has power figures uh, 382 mm-hmm. and 369 from uh, horsepower and torque. Yeah. So it's not slow no, and in, if, by any means, yeah. but you're getting more than that here. It's the performance, it's the tuning, mm-hmm. it's the jets, it's the everything. So all you really need is something to get your family around and a grocery getter. Get the M40i. You're not going to use this capability. But if you are, if you truly love driving, you truly love all the things that this yeah. can do and then, uh, have the customizability of yeah. setting up your drive modes and then two different M, yeah. uh, the M1 and the M2, then... You're going to love this thing. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's money well spent. Yeah. If, again, if this is specifically, specifically, specifically <laughs> what you're looking for. Buy what brings you joy, right? That's it. There you That's go. Exactly it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please do click that little button to subscribe. We'd love it when you join our community and uh, interact with us and keep up with our videos. And find us on social media as well. We're on all the major platforms and we really do love to hear from you. Mm. So drop us a comment. Let us know what you think. And thank you so much for watching.